What's going on guys? It is T90 official and welcome to another Viper vs Rocket Fiend special. Now, these games were played a couple weeks ago and it's about time I get it up to YouTube with my point of view and my cast. Now I have never seen these games. I don't know what the result is. I know many of you may have already seen them if you're Rocket Beans or Viper fans. But Viper is playing in a 4v or a 2v4 here. He is in the green. He's playing as the Burmese. And then his ally is Jordan23. Jordan23 is playing as the Indians. So if you could just bear with me here with the introductions. It looks like this is the map Arabia, which we've seen many, many times. I'm not familiar with all of these individuals. Uh, I'm told that Mrs. The Point is a woman. Or as we would say on the stream, T90, babe, is one of my emotes, a female villager. So we have uh, Mara here. In the blue, playing as the Incas for Rocket Beans. We have Tony Soprano. I don't have this person's name on the list, guys. I don't know who this is, so we're going to call this person Tony. I, I apologize. It's late in Germany. I don't want to bother Donnie. But I do know that this player in the orange, uh, playing, in, in the, uh, playing as the Malians, rather, is Marco. And then in the yellow, we have... Uh, I don't even know how you say that out loud. This guy here is Florentine, who only plays Spanish. So we have Spanish for Florentine. We have Marco as Malians, two strong civilizations. We have a Tony playing as the Mongols. And then in the blue, we have Incas for Mara. George 23 again playing as Indians. And then Viper in the green, not yellow, playing as the Burmese. I think Indians and Burmese are a very strong combo. And obviously Viper and Jordan 23 are two of the best players in the world. So I'm excited to see how this one will go. Now, I'm going to keep this on slower speed because I kind of like to talk about what you should do if you're in a 4v2. I don't know the skill level of all these players. It seems like their build orders are pretty solid so far. I think that when you have four players versus two, you have to be aggressive. You don't want to give Viper and Jordan time to be comfortable with Castle Age Economy. And you don't want them to get to the point where they can push with lots of military. So that could be maybe yellow going for a tower rush. Uh, Florentine probably likes to go for fast castle and conquistadors. But I think that it would be better to be aggressive with towers because Spanish build faster. That's why they're a tower rush sieve. You could then maybe have scouts from Malians. Or we could see fast castle from Malians. I mean, there are options, but... I think the point here is you need to be aggressive versus two of the best players in the world. Now, I'll talk about the Tyrant players maps because they will likely be receiving most of the pressure. And there's too much to talk about with the other guys. This is bad for Jordan. Look at this. His main gold's forward. Secondary gold's also forward. His main stone is forward. Again, perfect place for a tower rush if you are Mara. Um, where is the other gold? Well, I can't seem to spot it. Okay, it's out here for Jordan. It's almost right next to, or it's in the middle of him and Viper. So I think that's pretty far away for him. So he could have gold issues. Could have gold issues. Now, if you're Viper and Jordan, you likely want to go for something fast so you can help each other and also so you can dish out damage to everybody. Now, already Tony Soprano sleeping on the job here. He's lost a villager. So <laughs> uh, Jordan and Viper didn't even need to do anything. And there's been a loss here for Tony. Now this could be Donnie. I, Donnie told me he didn't play the best. And there's a dead villager underneath the TC. I, I'm really embarrassed that I don't know who this is, guys. I apologize. I feel bad. <laughs> but uh, I just didn't want to wake him up. I didn't want to wake him up. I didn't want to bother him at this time. And I need to get this done. So, um, I noticed the main gold for Mara is really far forward. There's stone on the back. There's a secondary gold she could take. Let's see if any of the flanks are on the way to feudal. Well, 16 population right now. So we're not going to be there just yet. Look at Viper's population. Viper's at 19 population. So he's going to be looking towards feudal age. Uh, Viper's map is pretty easy to protect in early game. Burmese are strong with man at arms. Viper could kill Florentine Scout. You can see Florentine already took damage to the Scout. Not going to lose it, luckily. Will Viper go for Man-at-Arms or will he go for Scouts? We'll know if he sends Vils to Gold. 
and Jordan signaling where Mara is at. Maybe we can try and bait her into garrisoning the TC. Not too sure. Also, I think Jordan lost a few sheep, potentially. So Mara, Mara has a lot of extra sheep underneath the TC. Hard to tell. Viper has not clicked up yet. He's going for a drush. Interesting. So Viper is going for a Dark Age rush. <clears throat> going to try and delay with just this. And Florentine is not on the way to Feudal yet. You should be getting there. This, this is the time you want to click up if you're a flank versus the Viper. Viper is going to try. He's going to just delay. Keep, keep Florentine off of him. I can already see Florentine, after adding so many farms, doesn't want to go to Feudal Age. And this is probably not the tactic you need to use if you're up against the Viper. Let's look and see misses the point. Clicking up the Feudal. So we will see something offensive from the Inca player. Now the Pockets, they should be in- Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I was just gonna say the pockets they should be in a position to just fast castle But we see a three militia drush from Tony Soprano and four on gold So maybe drush into archers or something here Well, maybe something Jordan will not expect Jordan is in feudal age now and is going to be making scouts. So I feel like those Like since they're so far away from Jordan the militia are probably gonna be a waste here what do we have from Orange? Any surprises here? Um, so far, just Feudal Age up and I think a fast castle attempt. So Viper's Josh made it in over here. And oh, he killed a villager. And you know, sometimes with the HD path and these villagers can't get out. Maybe that's what happened there. Sometimes they also turn around and attack the Drush. You know, drushes on HD could be a bit more effective. Uh, this, this throws problems yellow's way i mean florentine probably didn't choose the correct strategy choice for a flank the population's 23 pop so it seems like he was caught in between fast castling and caught in between going for something in feudal age and he's added a lot of farms doesn't have the wood to make a barracks and this is just perfect for viper all that viper wanted was to be fine he didn't he didn't want to be harassed and uh, he is doing the harassment he's killed a vill and He's forced a lot of vital time for yellow. Now the scouts from Jordan, they seem to be making their way towards the pocket and here they are. And, and Tony, who again, I believe is Donnie, they're running into some issues. Like, nice move from Jordan. Oh, he needs to finish off that bill. Get him. There we go. Nice move from Jordan. And these militias still have not made it <laughs> to Jordan 23. Come on, Tony. I guess Tony Soprano is, is kind of slow in, in real life, right? If you're talking about the Sopranos. I don't know if you've watched the show, but he's a, he's a chubby guy. You don't see him running very fast, so maybe his militia are just acting as Tony would have. The Viper picking off the scout there from Florentine, and Florentine is just struggling all around. Didn't have the sheep. The sheep want to be lumberjacks, trying to quick wall. Viper finishing off another scout. And Viper, as easy as this has been for him, it's also just been a few mistakes here from Rocket Beans, I think. Like Rocket Beans are kind of falling apart everywhere you look. We have Eagles massing for Mara. Mara's done a nice job. Probably the most solid player. Mara and uh, Orange. Uh, Orange just now losing a villager to Jordan's scouts. I want to see if he's on the way up to Castle. Oh, he's close. Maybe orange and blue, the, the two more, most comfortable players currently. There's only two players who I would say are relatively comfortable. Uh, there's two Tyrant players who are extremely strong up against them. And just as I say that, the Jinx comes in. And unfortunately, orange is going to have to run away from the, the berries. Like, Jordan and Viper have done everything right now. They've just distracted. Delayed. Would not surprise me if I toggle to Viper's point of view that he's on his way up to castle or something. Let's see. Viper. Yeah, he's on his way to castle. Beautiful build from him. Sending four villagers forward, which is incredibly interesting. And 
Oh, Yellow panicking a bit. Florentine. But without his conquistadors, he seems to be struggling. Viper getting another kill. And he's caused so much idle time. And Jordan invested into maybe four scouts. And this is his starting scout. He's just trying to keep an eye on what Mara is doing. Sees Mara is going eagles. But again, no pressure at Jordan or Viper's base. And, and Jordan is just... Well, he's going to lose the scout. I was going to say he was toying with Mara, but... I guess he forgot about it. We'll we'll let it slide. Oh, the almighty drush from Tony Soprano, which I don't think ever got to Jordan's base at all. It's going back home. He's going back to Italy. And uh, it seems like he's not paying attention to the drush either. Oh, boy. Uh, this is tough. I guess Tony Soprano is going to cut his losses, just let the militia die, and send his scout back home. His spears and archers now. You know, normally, guys, in this situation, as Viper is going to be, come on, man, this is just rude. He's going to go siege and monks. Uh, normally, if you're in a pocket position, which means you're you're not a flank, you are in the middle position for your team and you're further away from everything, you want to go for faster units. And I believe we will see some knights and camels from Orange. TC first, so strong eco. Knights and camels will help. But Burmese, their monk techs are half off, and they have fantastic upgrades, and obviously monks can convert knights, and I think the lack of a scout is going to hurt Florentine now. He doesn't know about this at all. Just getting to Viper's base to try and hit him. A Viper... Is there a hole here? No, there's no hole here, and he's defending with spears. And he gets extra attack on his spears, too, so... Like, this is just amazing for Burmese. All of these scouts are weak. Uh, Jordan. Not yet in Castle H. He's probably close to it. Yep, there we go. We're building a second stable. Nice walls for him. Seems like very simple play on this side for him. Eagles have plus one attack, so he's going to need to make sure his walls are up. But these tanky Indian camels are going to come to town soon. Oh, here we go. Viper sees the first knight from Orange. Orange totally not expecting this. And... Or just like that, Viper has a knight. He has a knight, and he had the element of surprise as well. With three monasteries, four monks now. And I'm waiting for the siege workshop from Viper. He's uh, sending a spear forward. It was weird how the deer was running around. But anyway, forget about the deer. Oh dear, Florentine. Oh dear, goodness gracious. Two, no, one villager down. Like, this knight will kill more vills. This would just make matters worse for yellow. Jordan now seems to have the eco to push this away. There's only one Rocket Beans player in Castle Age, and he can't do anything with Viper there. Now, this is good teamwork from Tony and from Mara. Good teamwork. Archers, Spears, Skirmishers, Eagles. Try and push Jordan back, but I don't think Jordan really needs to rush an engagement. If he gets his town center up, and he will because it's walled up, he can just wait and mass his units, and that's exactly what he's going for. And meanwhile, Viper, he's having a field day over here. And these few spears he sent are here to protect his monks from enemy scouts. And that is the correct approach for both, both teams here. You want to make scouts versus monks. And if you're going with a monk siege push, it's not a bad idea to have the spears there to counter it. Now, I don't see Viper taking any losses here. These spears are super strong. 3 plus 2 attack. No losses, just getting more and more kills, and it's a disaster for Florentine. I believe he's one of the strongest players for Rocket Beans, so it's wise for Viper to try and pressure him first. And just everywhere I look, things are looking solid for the Tyrants. A strong eco for Jordan. This was a vulnerable area for him. He has a town center. He has a town center here, and... Uh... Oh, yep, he did build one on the right-hand side. If these two are trying to get in, but Jordan making a scorpion. Okay, he's lost the bill. Probably needs to quick wall a bit. And then his scorpion can harass from behind. But it is just getting worse and worse and worse. Viper must have converted these scouts a moment ago. And Viper's just getting all his military from other players now. <laughs> he can convert vills as well if he wants. Mining his gold, no problem. No problem. 
He's also on stone, so he can build a castle at some stage. He has five monks here. He has five more on this side. These villagers, they are not going to get to mine much longer. At least not for the Rocket Beans team. Uh, this farmer is now a Viper Farmer. And he could steal the farms now if he wants. This is just looking like a disaster. Yes, these, these villagers, they are now Vipers. But who needs economy when you can just convert enemy villagers for economy, right? And uh, poor Tony Soprano is going to get wrecked here with the Scorpion. Just sending a bolt through the archers. The camels, of course, very strong for Indians. Of course, this is kind of tough for Jordan, but he'll clean this up and then he should be able to kill the Eagles as well. And the real separator, I think, is that Viper and Jordan are able to do damage and they're in Castle Age and they have strong economy. The Viper adding his third town center now after building the second. And poor, I just feel bad, honestly, for Yellow. Like, what does he do here? He can't do anything. His buildings will get converted. He can't even use his tower to attack the monks. You know what? He could lose the tower to a conversion. Like, he's gonna lose everything here. The only thing Viper can't convert is the town center. But Viper is in full control now. Converts the stable now. He can convert the houses. Viper won't even need to build his own houses. All these villagers Viper has just being sent right out to gold. He's converting more and more and more. And any support Orange is going to send in is going to be far too little. We're probably getting to the point where Viper will soon build a castle. And I like this from Yellow. He's trying to kill some villas, but honestly, he might as well be killing his own villagers here. He's lost so many. He's killing villagers that used to be his. Can't get the market up. Does not have a working economy. Jordan now piling on the pressure on the front. Let's take a look at Mr. Tony. And Tony's on the way to castle, but there's just a huge lead for Tyrant. Like these archers are going to be far too late. There's not going to be enough of them. Jordan's economy is extremely strong. A castle aid then for Mara as well, and, and Mara also way behind in economy and lost all of those eagles. And then we, we know what the situation is for Yellow. <laughs> He's going to have to migrate. He's going to have to... Uh, to go elsewhere, and Viper's just gonna follow with the knights, follow with the scouts, and this is fine. This is fine for Yellow, as we always say on the stream. Ah, oh, yeah, just delete your TC so you can rebuild a new one. Goodness, oh, Viper converting villagers as, as they run. And um, let's see where he's gonna try and build this new town center. This is not good. You know, he doesn't have stone for it. The Viper's converted all these houses. This is ridiculous. He doesn't have stone for it, and he didn't build a market, so he can't buy the stone. He doesn't have wood for a town center, either. He's a 15 pop. He could get defeated here. Maybe he'll keep some villagers alive, but huge advantage for the Tyrant players. Jordan is, is piling on pressure at uh, Tony Soprano's base, and Tyrant is just much, much faster with everything. Uh, there we go. Uh, some wood now sent from Mara. Good teamwork from her. I'll send resources to Florentine, but uh, you know what? He still doesn't have the stone to build a TC, so he's going to have to make a lumber camp to get the wood to build a market. Then he's going to have to buy the stone, and then he can be rebuild the town center. And by then, I imagine Viper, well, he would have converted all these buildings, and he's pretty much on that task. And then he'll probably make his way to the new land. And he's already on his way. Wow. Four players getting completely dominated by two. Jordan not troubled here. Killing villagers. Stopping this TC. Running away. Well, let's look at Jordan's population because those cheap Indian villagers, guys. It's a crazy bonus. Yeah, he's at 100 pop. He doesn't have that much military. He has to have over 80 villagers. And I think we looked at Tony a second ago. Tony was at 37 pop. Viper, he's building a forward castle now. He should be a little bit more worried because Arnch has had a lot of time back here. But with this many monks, like how do you kill this? You would need more light cav than monks. Well, let's see, Viper, he's nearing the resources he will need for imp as well. He can of course add Arambai, and now we have a castle. That's that's a that's a good job. 
Like, you want to build a castle if monks are coming in. But Viper just got to convert these scouts. The scout's engaging. Did Viper even lose a monk there? Maybe one or two. But now he just has an army of scouts. Once again, Viper benefiting from the military of others. Typical, typical stuff. Okay, Viper lost a monk. The scout was deleted. Well played from Orange, but not going to be enough. Even Jordan arriving now to stop the town center. Oh, God. Poor Florentine. He just wants a town center, Jordan. Let him have it. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's see if he gets it up. If Viper could stop this with the scouts he's just converted. Let's see Viper's Fog of War. Maybe he's going to be nice. <clears throat> Jordan has, has shifted away from Yellow's TC. And he's going to go after Orange's Villagers. Let him let him build the TC first, please. Let him build it. Let him build it. Oh, okay. Woo. All right. Well, he got the TC. That's, that's all that matters, right? Domination by Viper and Jordan. So, um... Honestly, I just think it was bad tactics uh, from Rocket Beans. It seems like, I mean, obviously they're not pro players, right? But they understand builds for the most part. I feel like if you're flank, you need to, to try and go for some feudal age pressure. Now, the build order was a bit off from Florentine here. Going straight into Eagles, it isn't an awful idea, but probably not the best when your opponent can go scouts. Feudal age Eagles aren't that strong versus scouts. Unless you have a ton of upgrades and Eagles create so slow, it's just giving Jordan time. I think the, the glaring mistake for Rocket Beans this time was Mr. Tony Soprano and his a chubby militia. Not Oh, they're still alive, but they didn't make it to their destination, sadly. I think pocket players should probably go for Fast Castle, much like Orange did. But let's cut them some slack, guys. They are playing against two of the best players in the world, and Viper just invested into three militia to kill a few vills and cause a lot of idle time and then went into lots of monks let's look at the achievements because i want to see just how many conversions viper got because i imagine it's a lot wow 50 conversions so viper got 50 units that he didn't even create to join his arsenal lots of kills for jordan he was hitting multiple targets viper's military was a bit slower and uh, the villager count as well is going to be crazy we have the villager high 92 for Jordan, Viper 85, and Orange had 75 vills, but everything had fallen apart with his teammates by that time. So I believe they played again. I honestly don't know if it was a 4v2 again. Uh, maybe they will have the benefit of hindsight and they'll be able to learn from their mistakes and they could then like do the strategies that I said. But either way, this was an enjoyable. It's really funny to see just how dominant Viper and Jordan are compared to, like, you know, regular players. It didn't seem like they were really worried at all. So I appreciate you guys watching this. Now, short update. This has been uploaded because I'm gone. I wanted to get some special content uploaded to YouTube during this time because I'm gone for a couple days from Twitch. If you happen to be coming in new to the YouTube channel, I do stream five days a week on Twitch, casting Age of Empires games, ranging from community games with Diplomacy and King of the Hill and Regicide to expert games and lots of different stuff. So if you like the cast, guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video and also check out the links in the video description. You know, follow my Twitter and, and follow the Twitch and take a look at that schedule that is below that stream. And I hope to see you at a future live stream.